Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TR's Corner. For today's episode, I'm going to tell you about a time where uh, my family once owned a dog, and our dog did not like red trucks. He, um, he, for some odd reason, he just didn't like the color red in general. You know, he would always pee on fire hydrants. You know, things like that didn't bother him. But for some odd reason, he didn't like red trucks. Uh, we think it might have been the loud sound, you know, the loud machine that, you know, it might have seemed a little bit threatening to him since, you know, he was a really small dog. He was a Cairn Terrier. For those who don't know what kind of breed of dog that is, if you've ever seen Wizard of Oz, um, that's what Toto was, that very little brown dog. Um, we had a dog that looked basically like Toto from Wizard of Oz. And um, for some odd reason, he just really did not like red trucks. Like I said, we don't know if it was the sound or the size or the fact that they moved a lot faster than him. Uh, but there was something about red trucks that really bothered him. And one day, uh, when we had someone answer the front door, you know, ring the front door, we had to, um, you know, take the door. Uh, for some odd reason, you know, this red truck became, uh, this red truck flew by our house. And, you know, since my dog didn't like red trucks, he uh, managed to get out the front door and run for it. And so, um, you know, he, he chased that the truck down the road. Uh, you know, obviously we couldn't catch up to him since he was a little dog who could move really fast. And so, you know, the dog, um, the truck got out of the neighborhood, uh, you know, took a big turn. So my dog, uh, you know, couldn't follow it anymore. And so he, he went over and peed by a tree. And uh, that's how we got him back. Because he was peeing on the tree as if, he, you know, we were taking him out on a walk or something. And... Uh, you know, that we got him by the, the dog collar since he had one, and um, we were able to um, carry him back into the house. And so luckily he didn't, um, you know, because he, he, he was always on a leash whenever we'd take him for walks and things like that. So, uh, you know, as soon as he was off the leash, you know, he would run to wherever he wanted to. So we had to make sure we, we caught him before, uh, you know, he saw another car, another red truck or whatever. So a uh, very scary experience because, you know, when your little dog um, runs out the front door, and, you know, it's chasing something that's going really fast. And one thing one thing we really didn't want to happen is we were worried that the truck was going to run over him. But luckily, the truck was a pretty good distance away by the time our dog um, got outside. But still, it was a very scary experience. We didn't know what if another car or another truck was going to run over him. And uh, it was just a really scary experience. And, uh, you know, ever since then, you know, specifically when we hear trucks and things like that, uh, that's why we always made sure that the door was always, like, out of crack since we had this glass door and, um, you know, we didn't want him to jump up so that he would knock it over and things like that. So we'd always supervise the door and, you know, make sure that you know, there wasn't anything for him to run outside to go get and things like that. But, um, yeah, just a really scary experience, you know, when your dog's always used to walking around with a leash or, if, you know, your dog's outside and, you know, that you had the leash tied up so they can only go a certain distance when they see people and things like that. Really scary experience when, you know, when they're on, on the loose and they don't have, you know, something to um, prevent them from running away and things like that. So just a really scary experience. Um, once again, I apologize. This is another TR's Corner episode that's a little bit short. So feel free to leave down below if you had a scary dog experience. Did your dog get away without a leash? Uh, what, what, what's, what's, what are some things that your dog is afraid of, like our dog was afraid of? And uh or some things that, you know, kind of agitated them to, you know, want them to go chase them and stuff. So feel free to list those down below, and um, I'll see you guys here for your future episode.